Hello, for the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Cry. Tell me why. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. We'll I'll have to fix that. Ladies without taking it for some reason. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't, but thank you. Anyway... And... I'm done. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. Not our finest hour. Well... Um. I didn't know what moon walks are before. But I gotta tell I you, it's so I weird do. to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. But you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You, you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of a dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. I don't know if they're looking for the same thing or not. 
Mm. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. That was an hour? Oh. Okay. Which was about ten minutes. Here we are. Seriously. <laughs> We're coming here at night while Tessa's here to visit someone to ask her more about something that she's already said she doesn't want to talk about and we don't actually have a reason why we need to clear out of that house uh, within the next couple of days I just, I really don't see why they couldn't do this tomorrow. See why it wouldn't be nicer to do this tomorrow. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. All right. Well, technically the wind is... Uh, technically you can. Because the wind is made of air. Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm going to go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. Oh, what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. come here. Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Yeah, she obviously knew someone other than Eddie's mom. Loved us. 
a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. I don't know. Maybe. Well, here's the crooked tree. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Um. She sounded emotional for a different reason. But no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible? Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarls Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Guess again. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. Anything? No, just a whole lot of nothing. Tyler? No luck on my end. You? Nothing. This might take a while. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Mm. We don't have eagles like that in Button. I don't think. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, that's where I went when I ran off. Um, this, your 
broken. Aha! Uh -huh. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. I want to choose Allison's uh, memory. I don't know why they remember things differently. But we'll find out later on in the game. Um, or perhaps it's just a game mechanic, basically. But, uh, I've, I've gone with, uh, Madison has taken, uh, has taken the opposite side to Tyler on a lot of issues. I want them to go on well, so... I'll be back soon, alright? Right, it was probably somewhere over here. Hmm. That her looking at. Oh, wow. And then I took Jane ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born to do it. She is your child, that's for sure. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Becky store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Well, I don't think it's... Since this is the only dialogue option, I don't really like to ask people this in real uh, life, but... Tyler? <laughs> Sorry. I zoned out. I, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's got to be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet. Like a frozen desert, thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do 
Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mom has been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? I really can't make that call. Sorry. Sorry, but I am so not capable of making that call. Yeah, sorry. It was a strange question. <laughs> it, sounds it was kind of strange to us to approach you when you were in the middle of talking to your dead relative. Sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Yes. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. God. Those kind of accidents happen all the time. The penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so. So they do jack shit. Life's got a price. Well, it did seem like the grave was this way, but doesn't. Doesn't appear to be, does it? Thought it might be this one. But it's not. Ah. Ty. Well, that's probably been going on about twenty five minutes and some of these episodes have been going on slightly longer than that. Basically, I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.